Hello everyone, welcome to Herm's Kitchen on JewishFunk.com. Today we're making meatballs, and meatballs are my favorite food. Now we're gonna start, I always start with four pounds of meat, and uh, this is good for about, um, I don't know, uh, 10 to 12 people, and it's just, you know, meatballs, whenever you bring it out, it, it brings smiles, a big smile to people's faces, and that's what I like to do through my meatballs. And um, we're gonna start make the meatballs come alive. So we have the meat here, and um, what I like to do is when I'm making the meatballs is to put ketchup on it. I think it's a, a great base for the meatballs. And you know, ketchup, it, it has like a really fantastic um, you know, essence to it. Um, and as you're marinating it, and um, you know, it's like, I call it like the base layer for the meatballs. And you just get it all in there, and uh, then you uh, start putting the different spices uh, onto the meatballs. And um, what, we, what I usually use also as a base is the, the garlic uh, stir fry rib sauce. It's really just a, a, a nice way to enhance the, the, the look and taste of, of uh, meatball. And you know, some people use you know fresh stuff, and and it's it's good and all, but I find that um, you know just using your uh, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, some salt, it's fairly easy, inexpensive, and uh, the meatball just comes out, um, you know, you know, pretty decent. And it, I really don't have there's not like a rhyme or reason to how I make uh, the meatball. Sometimes I just feel like maybe I want a little bit more chili. So I usually do like uh, about you know, three or four shakes, so I feel like it's it's covered. Again, it's kind of you get the feeling that um, the the meatball is um, you know you want it to be tasty, and sometimes you know, you, you know when you start doing one teaspoon, two teaspoons, I don't know. I, I just feel like putting it all together, um, kind of you just go with the flow. And I, and I just keep on adding some more garlic and rib sauce um, to marinate it. And uh, just keep on doing it. And as you can see, we're changing the color of the meat. And we know that it's, uh, it's getting uh, flavorful. And uh, we're gonna be ready to roll the, uh, the meat into the pot. We're ready to roll the balls and uh, throw them into the pot. So we're just gonna put a, a little bit of oil into the pot uh, to make sure that the meatballs uh, don't burn. And uh, just, uh, again, a little dab, just so that it's, uh, so it's covered on the bottom. And uh, we're gonna be ready to, uh, to roll. And, you know, as you, as you roll it, you realize that you know, making a good meatball, it's about getting the the full, um, you know, the ball into a a fluffy but solid ball. So you're gonna you're gonna keep on rolling like this, and there you go. There's the the first meatball, and you know inside you see that it didn't get much spice. So you keep on going in and out like that and making sure that all the sauce gets in and uh, now you continue to roll there you go and it's fun you know I, I find uh, cooking and especially making meatballs is really relaxing and uh, enjoyable some people don't realize that, you know, sometimes cooking, you know, can be stressful, but if you have the right ingredients at the right time, um, it will all work out beautifully. And uh, one of the things that I really like about meatballs is that, you know, after you, you know, put the sauce in and it cooks, it's just like, once you like, you know, pour, you know serve it, like, it's just so juicy and fun. And uh, just, uh, you know, enjoy the experience.
So we uh, put the sauce in the meatballs now. As you can see it's uh, cooking it up. Uh, and you put it on a medium flame for about uh, 35 minutes and uh, they will have your meatballs.